and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to our YouTube channel My husband is disturbing me with what is playing Anyways, guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is a beautiful Sunday, but a little bit of a sad one <laughs> because this man here is traveling today. He is traveling and is leaving us for four good days. What do you have to say about that, sir? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't feel like someone that is traveling. I don't know. I'm not so excited about the travel. Why? Not because I'm missing my wife. <laughs> and my son. Thank you for saying the truth. Well, just because I just feel. I don't know. You know that travel where you just want to travel to just breathe and to just get your passport stamped. You want to breathe? Who is disturbing you? Who is unbreathing you? Not just you. Who is making not you not breathe? You. All the buildings around. You say you said not just me. Not just like you. so, I'm 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 part of the reason why you need to breathe. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think you just just now say your mom's out for one month, please. Oh, please, please, please that's beg, 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 so if so I give it a promise, you're yeah, going go and, go and lodge somewhere and stay on your own. Oh, yes, now. You still want me to talk. You know, I'm going to talk now. <laughs> it's not about that, it's you as a person. It's, it's what? not about this thing. It's just about the regular activities in the house, you know. Just take some time off. You get everybody, everybody, you watching, you know, that everybody at some point you need to just. Go to just a place and just even if you're staring in the ceiling or just even looking at nature, you just want to be alone. Like wow. in Wahala, I just want to be alone. No problem from the east, north, south, west. You're just saying you should even get to the point where you now miss home again, you now miss people. You get so I'm just in less than 30 minutes, I'm supposed to be going already, but I'm just like. This trip is Kenya, Kenya and Rwanda. <laughs> but we thank God. It will be the first time I'll be going out of the country. I went to go in Tunisia, but I messed up in Tunisia. I, I did not know that I had to do COVID test. I did vaccine, but I don't know I had to do COVID test. So imagine. So it's good for people to be traveling so they can know all these things. You get. So we're going to Kenya and Rwanda, and it will be the first time. By God's grace, today I would break the jinx <laughs> of leaving the country because I don't think anybody in my family has left the country. Okay, but I have. You are not my family when you left. Okay. So you see, I have to break the jinx. <laughs> I, 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 I left and I went to Ghana while I was with you. Yeah. Twice, I'll be three times. You're married? Yes. You're married? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the Bunny show that we had, Jason. I went to. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's I went to Ghana. That's true. So. I actually, I like. Yeah, I think it's just I, I you. Uh, my, my own, you know. Yeah. My family side, my mom and my siblings. So just for that, this would be an open way that we can all visit countries mm -hmm. and come back. And some of us go to school there, and also, it's just mixed feeling, Abby. Just this mixed feeling. Yeah. Mixed Hi. Feeling. So you heard from the horse's mouth. Horse. <laughs> horse. 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 Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. So this is Jason. For many of you guys who said, please put Jason on the vlog. Jason. For many of you guys who said, please put Jason. Stop. Put down this teddy bear, please. I beg. For, you because you're sucking. I don't like. I don't want you sucking in my video. Are you sucking? You're sucking. You're sucking with the teddy bear. So, anyways, this is Jason. For many of you who are like. Put Jason in the video. Jason, what do you have to say? Hello, guys. The very first YouTube channel. Okay. If I hear your son, I beg, just go, just go, just go. Before you open my hand here. Anyways, guys, um, 
So I'm going to drop Harry at the airport. I don't know if they will even allow me to maybe see him off or something. And then later I might just go for a few shopping because we are out of groceries. This man is not here to help me. Exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you. So yes, guys. Um, I'm going to go get groceries and what again? What will I be doing? I was thinking about actually taking these children out, but today is June 12th. I don't know what the country will look like today. So, and then because of I'm taking Harry to the airport, so I I won't be able to take them out. Just wanted to like maybe spend like some few cash for them. Then I don't know what tomorrow will be and because there's a public holiday tomorrow, but I'll just take you guys in here. I hope Harry vlogs in this trip. I already told him anyways. But guys, let me not talk too much because I'm already exceeding five minutes. It's almost six minutes. I'll talk to you guys once we are back on the road. The last time Harry came to the airport, they didn't allow me inside. Literally, we didn't even try because of the COVID-19 thing. But now they are so crowded. <laughs> Hi guys, Omar told me to do a video, but Omar, I didn't want to do a video because the truth is, I actually came, oh, I actually came to Kenya and Rwanda just to get the experience of you know traveling, and um, and um, to stamp the passport. You get just to get that experience of going to another country. So. I did not really come here for yes i came here for a vacation but not to really take pictures and show people you know places so i'm i'm not far away from the airport i'm actually in um a guest house i call it a guest house in um in rwanda right now i didn't do a video in kenya because i know what i came here for and so i'm just doing this video so that we can have something to put on our youtube that i really went out to travel so i'll just do it. any cake what cake do they have i'm trying to get cake and shama what cake do they have i'm sorry i don't even know what kind of cake but I, maybe if i was there i would know the kind of cake is there a place i can see it i can't see it online oh shit any cake is fine. Any cake. <laughs> Any cake is fine. I just want cake and shawarma. So, guys, I'm trying to order cake and shawarma. Just trying to eat some things I know before before I go and eat what I don't know. Though it would have been nice to try some Rwanda food, but not this period. I'll come back. I'll come back 
when I'm, when I'm probably spending, let's say, when I'm probably spending, let's say, um, maybe two weeks, if I, if I come back to Rwanda, then, uh -huh, then I can make a proper video for you guys and also I can eat their food. Rwanda is cold, Rwanda is clean. Uh, though I heard it's a poor country, but I don't see that, man. It's a beautiful place. Uh, I was gonna try the safari out, but when I got there, they told me seven hours for the safari, and I'm like, you guys should do your day, let me do my day. Okay, I've actually changed some, some money. Uh, let me show you what the Rwanda currency looks like. Uh, hang on. This is what they have a denomination of 2000. This is what a Rwanda currency looks like. This is 2000 Rwanda franc. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And they also have the denomination of 5000, and I think it goes down from 5000. This is what it looks like. So when you get when you get to the country, you go change your you go change your dollar to. Uh, you go change your dollar to Rwanda franc so you can be able to spend some money in the country. It's a beautiful place. And I'm just in this video, so Omar will not kill me. I was trying to see if I can show you guys around the um, um, the hotel where I'm staying. It's a beautiful place, but just something simple. It's not luxury, but it's just African. Let me just say it. it's African. All right. And by the way, they had they have KFC here. I ordered KFC, and uh, I went somewhere to eat chicken and chips. I can't remember the place. It's called Gizment around that area. There's a place called Gizment. So I went there to eat chicken and chips, and it wasn't bad at all. It was not bad at all. So uh, the thing is, I'm just keeping everything on a low. I'm not here to really shout and do more than myself. So guys, check this out. As I was saying, guys, there was mosquito yesterday night. Damn, I don't know, maybe we left the place open, but Omo, Omo. So we had to go buy fleet to fleet the place. And, uh, you know, you see that inside, that's inside the, inside the court inside. Mm. Inside that place. That yeah. place. No, no, the, the curtain down there. Okay, yeah. Down, down for a hair. Inside all here, yes. Oh, fleet down. So we had to fleet this place now and leave so that We'll have at least a good night here in Rwanda. So, this place is active. You keep one of people down there. Ah, they're active and no, the place is not harmful like that. Mm, ah, <laughs> I want to go outside. Go, go, go. Don't finish your business. Yeah, not yet. So, on our way coming in now, that's when someone just gave us a paper and said, Oh, this car, when we see, now the person with this. Mm. So someone who does a Rwanda visit and all, and um, they gave us a a a guide on how to you know we, where we can just go and visit. We'll be looking for this kind of thing since, but it's so it's all good, it's all good. So we'll check it out and see. We're supposed to go tomorrow, so we'll check it out and see if there is if there is uh, anywhere we can quickly visit before you know going back to um, Kenya, Lagos, uh, Kenya. So by Kenya and Kenya, then yeah, and then Lagos. Bye guys. Omar, I'll take it off from here. Or I'll probably do a video of anything I see <laughs> along the way. So guys, I told you it's fine. It's usually, it's still, it's still during the day, but usually fine at night. The lights, just lights. And one thing I like about Rwanda is their walls. They are so strong, like the walls. This is how the walls are most times. They are really strong. Like you can't, like it's quality. It's really quality. That's one thing I like about the place. Even the walls, even the walls that is used for fencing, it's just it's just like this. You get, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. So I was asking him, where can we, where can we possibly visit, uh, possibly visit? Before leaving. If we can wake up six o'clock. Okay. And yeah. probably because, leave. Uh, because of the home. And see if we can just visit that place. He said it's not even far, about 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay. This place is that he's talking about to get there. Yeah, we'll go and knock on that. Yes, we'll go. From I there? think from there we'll go to the airport. Okay. I just fully signed. I swear. Hi guys. So I, I just remember to take up my phone to say something. So I ordered, I wanted to see how the shawarma here 
taste it. I wanted to understand it. And I bought Xiaomi. I think it was about... I can't remember how much. But it's about... I think it's up to 4,000 um, Rwanda franc. I don't know how much that is in Naira. But one, one Naira is equal to 2.4 Rwanda franc. You get. So uh, I got the Xiaomi. And I'm going to show you what it looked like. Check this out. So this is the the um, Xiaomi. It's quite big. Before I could open my mouth to eat this, it was it was I had to widen my mouth and support it with my hand very well. But you know, in Nigeria we have um, hot, dog. hot dog. We have um, what's that this cream? Is, There's this yeah, cream that they put yeah, inside. Yeah. Bama. Bama, yeah, and all. But this is different. This is like I think they added potato. Then you can see the green pepper, and you can see beef. It's crazy. It tastes nice and it's big. Like it's really big, man. It's really big. It's not bad. It tastes it tastes nice. But I was just hoping to eat hot dog and chicken or something. But this is just beef and potato. I think it's Irish potato and then this their green pepper. So just thought I'll tell you guys about this. Yeah. Hi guys. So I don't know. It, this this is this this uh, meal was actually prepared by a Nigerian, but it's somehow Rwanda food. Um, <laughs> see, I started talking like them. So what was this? Pilau. What? Pilau, green peas. Pilau, green peas. Oh, I don't know. Then this is thing. you guys know this is plantain, of course. Yeah. So is this what's pilau? What's this leaf? <laughs> I don't know. I you don't, don't know? know. <laughs> but they are good. Oh, but it seems nice. So, pilau, you know, pilau mixed with meat. Pilau mixed with oh. Yeah, special beef. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's nice. Yeah. We want to do a video. <laughs> this is nice. It has, it has like beef inside. So, this is not, you don't, you say pilau. Yeah. Pilau with uh with what? Pilau with beef. <laughs> meat with beef. Meat. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Love it. Pilau. Love you. Thank you. Come on. The guy go learn as they draw now. <laughs> hmm? Thanks to our sister. This is our sister from Rwanda. So thanks to you. Thanks. <laughs> Love it. Hi guys. So this is me again. Once in a while I just bring up my phone and I just make a video. There's a way Rwandans speak their English. They talk very slowly. You understand? They talk very slowly like this. That's how they talk. They say, are you going to the market? And then there's something they always add, for sure. They always add that thing, for sure, for sure. So I just picked up my phone to give you this update. That when they, when, as a Nigerian, when you go to Rwanda and they talk like this, don't laugh. Just be saying, oh, mm, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> really? All right, guys. Later, guys. Hi, guys. Uh, today is the day that I really finally leave um, Rwanda. I went to Kenya, though I didn't do any video in Kenya, but because I didn't spend much time in Kenya, and um, I spent much, I spent two days, three days in Rwanda. So I didn't actually tell you guys a lot happened in Rwanda. I actually missed my flight back to Nigeria. And the reason why I missed my flight, um, the first reason is, it's a 24, on your, on your ticket, it's a 24 hours time format. So if the time says 8, if, if they write 8 a.m., 8 o'clock, 8 zero zero, they don't write a.m. or p.m. And that's where the problem started. If it's 8, if it's 8, um, zero zero, it's a.m. Yes, it's a.m. So if it's three, if it's three zero zero, it's a.m. If it's fifteen, 
it's PM. You understand? So I think my flight was, I saw three and I felt like it was PM. I saw three, three forty, and I thought it was PM. I just slept off that oh, in the, in the, during the day. I just maybe one o'clock. I'll just go, but it was AM and that's how I missed my flight. And um, one of that crazy thing is I was supposed to get a service of the driver coming to pick us, you know, coming to knock on our door to pick, but the driver did not come. So that's how, that's how I missed our flight. But today we had to reschedule it and it cost a couple of, cost almost $200 to reschedule the flight. So today's the day I'm leaving Rwanda and uh, the truth is Rwanda is beautiful. Um, it's really beautiful. There are Nigerians here working, there are Nigerians here doing great. Um, it's different from Nigeria. Uh, I can't really come and say that it's better, like, you know, it's better than Nigeria. But on the road, we hardly heard here we hardly hear horn like they were just pressing their horn. The zebra crossing walks like I was running on the zebra crossing. Like when I was riding, the car they were waiting for me. You don't see overtaking, and you, you see, you know, that thing where so we went to the passport one time to make an inquiry and the police stops us and say let me see your passport and they keep looking at you and look at your passport look at you and look at your passport you know it's uh it looks like they have a system that really really works it looks like they have a system that really really works and the weather is beautiful. When I mean beautiful, there are no ACs. There are no ACs or fan inside the inside the um, 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 hotel. For example, here that we are in, no ACs. You get. So um, the weather is good. I can wear my 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 sweater and not so I'm not sweating. No heat. Yeah, the sun, but it's not like our hot Nigeria. But the thing about Nigeria is, we know Nigeria is really blessed. We know Nigeria, really, we know our problem in Nigeria. So I think I just picked up my phone to just um, tell you guys, okay, to tell you guys what's up. Good morning from here. <laughs> Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> yeah, because of my slippers. I just want to get like two slippers and then head straight to London.